Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Mountain Blade Bannerlord and we're bringing you top 5 armors of the step. So this is going to be uh, the best Kuzate armors in the game. So if you haven't seen any of the other videos in this series before, I'll quick explain it for you. Basically we take 5 sets of armor that fit into the theme that we're going for and this one again is armors of the step. So it's going to be Kuzate themed. These armors are going to be ranked based primarily on an average armor rating which is a composite score of how well they stand up in battle to various different types of damage and offer the most protection. They will also be given a designation for how much they weigh and what their total value is, which will vary but generally trends upwards as we go up through the uh, list. Basically, each one of these is built with combat primarily in mind and with appearance as a secondary feature, but I try to make sure that they all kind of match and look good together. So with all that in mind, let's start out right at the beginning. So the first suit of armor we're going to be looking at is the Kuzate Nomad. So this is the lowest level on this list, but already, as you can see, it looks pretty dang good. So this one starts with the Spiked Helmet, the Eastern Leather Pauldrons, the Eastern Stitched Leather Coat, the Eastern Leather Vambraces, and the Eastern Leather Boots. So probably a whole cow died to dress this guy up. Uh, and then we paired this with the Eastern Pole Sword, which is just a fantastic historical weapon and uh, would work well on horse and on foot and just works really well. A uh, curved round shield, the Step War Bow, and some stacked bodkin arrows because as we know, uh, the Kuzates are very, very well known for their archery, both on foot and more importantly on horseback. So that is the Kuzate Nomad. This suit of armor has a weight of 21.2 kilograms, a value of 5,851 gold, and an AAR or average armor rating of 116, making it a pretty dang good suit of armor for the beginning of the list. So let's move on to the next. Okay, so for the next suit of armor we're looking at, this one is the Kuzate Raider, which as you can see is a step up from the last. This suit of armor is made of the Eastern Vendel Helmet, the Eastern Studded Shoulders, the Eastern Plated Leather, the Reinforced Leather Van Braces, and Male Cavalier Boots. So you can see this one is definitely starting to trend towards a medium light skirmisher troop. This one is armed with a decorated long scimitar, the curved round shield, the step warbo, and the stacked bodkin arrows. Just take a look at it. Look at, look at it in all its Kuzate glory. So this one has a weight of 30.6 kilograms, making it pretty heavy for this early on the list. A value of 49,727 gold, making it pretty dang expensive. And an AAR or average armor rating of 170, making it pretty good as the suit of armor goes. So that is the Kuzate Raider, and let's move on to the next. Okay, so for our third suit of armor, we're getting into really, really cool territory. So this one is the Kuzate Lancer, and if you look at it, he really looks like he's a Cuman Kipchak, uh, which if you've ever seen or played the game Kingdom Come Deliverance, you probably recognize. So this suit is made up of the spiked helmet with face mask, the leather lamellar shoulders, the stitched leather over mail, the male mittens, and the strapped male chausses. Just look at it, it's so beautiful. This one has the same decorated long scimitar as the last one. Gets an upgrade to the Eastern Cavalry Shield, which we see has the big steel boss and the rim around the outside, make it even more durable. And we see the Eastern Pole Sword return. So this troop could be used on foot as a uh, guards or, you know, some sort of a unit with a beautiful, awesome, powerful, long reaching pole arm, or mounted, which would make this a great sweeping weapon. Uh, so that is the Kuzate Lancer. It has a weight of 22.3 kilograms, a value of 56,378 gold, and an average armor rating or AAR of 178, placing it just above the Raider. Again, that was the Lancer, so let's move on to the next. Okay, for our fourth suit of armor, we have the Kuzate Horse Lord. And this one, as you can see, is starting to get pretty dang fancy. So this suit is made up of the Eastern Noble Helmet with fur, the Brass Lamellar Shoulders, the Eastern Brass over Lamellar, no, Eastern Brass Lamellar over Mail, the Heavy Mail Mittens, and the Splint Boots. And we paired with it the Lion Imprinted Saber, which is a pretty cool weapon in the game, the Eastern Cavalry Shield, which is the same as before, and we see the Step War Bow and the Stacked Bodkin Arrows make a return. Because again, bows are important to these people. So, this suit of armor has a weight of 24.7 kilograms, 
a value of 176,128 gold, and an AAR or average rating of average armor rating of 195. Make it very, very good in battle. So again, that was the Kuzate Horse Lord. Let's move on to the final suit of armor on this list. Okay, and so for the fifth and final suit of armor on this list, as you can probably tell already, we have a fantastic suit of armor. This one is the Kuzate Darkhan, which is uh, one of the higher ranks in their society, which makes sense why it would have such a cool and very, very, very good suit of armor. So this suit is made up of the Eastern Noble Helmet with Neck Guard, the Lamellar Shoulders, the Lamellar with Scale Skirt, the lamellar plate gauntlets, and the lamellar plate boots. So you can tell this one is very, very heavy on lamellar stuff. It keeps the same sword as before, the lion imprinted saber, gets an upgrade to the tribal step shield, which in addition to the large and decorated boss this time, has some offshoots that, you know, again improve the stability, and again we see the step warbow and the stacked bodkin arrows. This suit, other than looking super cool, has a weight of 26.7 kilograms, a value of 266,390 gold, and an AAR or average armor rating of 225, making it all around one of the best suits of armor in the game. So with all that in mind, that was the top 5 armors of the step. If you like this video, I invite you to like it, and perhaps share a comment down below of maybe things that you like to do with these, with the Kuzate armor styles, or maybe items that you wished were in the game already. And of course, if you liked it, then I invite you to subscribe to the channel, because we have content like this all the time, and you'll likely like that as well. And also check out the other videos in this series, because they are directly applicable. But with all that in mind, thank you for watching, and have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.